Okay, so pork tenderloin sandwich. It's the official sandwich of Indiana. I've lived in Indiana my whole life, uh, so let's make one together. Uh, first, I'm gonna butterfly this. This is a loin pork chop boneless. And to butterfly it, I just cut through. Um, I don't wanna cut all the way through, I just want to reduce its size by half. Okay, and that's good. I'm going to cover it in plastic wrap and hammer it down. And we're, we want to make this very, very thin. And I'll come back when this is pounded up. Okay, I have my pounded out pork loin. Uh, I have a sizable hole on one part, but that's that should be fine. It's all gonna get breaded and fried. There might be a little hole, but it's a sandwich. It can, it can make do. I'm just gonna salt and pepper. All right, I can add more salt after it is fried onto the breading as well. First step, put it into flour. Okay, so it's been in the flour. We're gonna shake off excess. And then behind me, I have some panko. You can use regular breadcrumbs. I think panko is crispier though, so that's why I'm using panko. Man, this, this hole is pretty big, but <laughs> we're gonna make, make it work, hopefully. Okay, here's the panko I'm using. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of crush it up because these pieces can be pretty big. So the pork has been in the egg. I'm gonna let that drip. And now into the panko. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so the oil's on medium. I do believe that it is ready right now. So we're gonna put our we're gonna put our loin into the oil. Gently, away from us. And we're gonna let that fry, get golden brown, and then flip it. We might flip it more than once, we'll see. Okay, it's been going for like a minute. I'm gonna flip it. All right, yeah, I'll need to flip it again at some point, but this is looking good. When it's done, I'm gonna put it on this wire rack and let it chill and finish cooking. And Oh, and I did wanna mention, um, I'm using canola oil, but you can use lard or clarified butter if you probably wanna be more traditional because this is basically schnitzel. You just put it on a sandwich. Um, I think this was made in Indiana from German Americans that they ended up putting schnitzel on a sandwich, um, and it's still, it's still a thing today. There's probably about 10 restaurants around me that I could get this pork tenderloin sandwich from. But today we're making our own. Okay, this is looking done. Um, as you can see, the hole that I was worried about earlier, it, it doesn't look like it's an issue anymore. Um, I'm gonna set this off on the rack. Turn my heat off. I'm gonna do a little bit of finishing salt. I am gonna let this rest a good amount of time because stuff is surrounded in breading. It can really take a long time to cool down. And this will be bigger than my burger bun, but that is intended because in Indiana, every pork tenderloin sandwich that I've had, the pork is way bigger than the bun. Okay, so my tenderloin is on the bottom bun. Um, for toppings, you can really top this however you would top a burger. Uh, very often I see this topped with pickles, onions, and mustard. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some mustard on the top bun. Pickles. And instead of onions, since I do have it on hand, I'm going to do pickled red onions. Uh, I can show you how I made these later in the video. 
So I'm just gonna put some of these directly on the sandwich. And it seems like it's all towards the middle, but remember this pork is way bigger than the bun. All right, and that is a Hoosier pork tenderloin. The sandwich of Indiana. All right, here we go. Pickle red onions, mustard pickles. The first bite is always no bread. You get to the bread though, eventually. It's super good. It's just like, just as good as every portion of one I've had. Okay, pickled red onions. start by chopping off the root end and the stem end okay I'm actually gonna cut them this way instead of this way um, I think that's a little bit better slices that way okay so I sliced up all the onion I'm going to make the vinegar solution which is seasoned rice wine vinegar sugar and salt this is based on Adam Argusia's pickles recipe. Uh, they, these pickles, I've made them before, they turn out sweet. You, uh, I had cabbage last time, but this time it'll just be onions. Yeah, this is a full onion. Alright, this is sugar. We want more sugar than salt. Okay, so this is pretty much mixed through. There's very few sugar granules left. Uh, there will definitely be none left after a few days. I'm gonna put the whole onion in here in this mason jar and then pour over the liquid. All right, all the onions are in. We're gonna pour in the liquid and shake it up. This doesn't have to be completely submerged. We just want them all a little bit coated, and these onions will release some moisture on their own. All right, we're gonna shake this. All right, and since this is an animation jar, I can easily like shake it up throughout the day or once a day. And they should be sour and sweet and a little bit salty, and I can add them to a lot of things.